Hi everyone! So, as many of you probably know, yesterday the jury in the Derek Chauvin case reached a guilty verdict on all counts of murder um, in the murder of George Floyd last year. And today, uh, Attorney General Merrick Garland uh, also put forth that there is going to be a federal investigation into the Minneapolis Police Department. And both of these things are really good news because it means that we are stepping towards this idea of justice and accountability as an as a country. And it also, I have a lot of mixed feelings about it. I feel a lot of relief because it wasn't a given that things were gonna head in this direction. And um, I feel some joy that we are ha ha headed in this direction together. But I also feel like we have a really long way to go. Um, there is an, a Twitter post that um, by DeRay, and he says, remember, accountability is what happens after the trauma. Justice is the idea that the trauma shouldn't exist in the first place. So we as a teaching, we as an organization in Science of Mind, we believe in justice. We believe that justice is a spiritual principle that is the divine birthright of everybody on the planet. And so if we look at this idea of this is not justice, the fact that uh, Derek Chauvin was uh, found guilty, that's not justice, that's accountability for his actions last year. We still have a long way to go to have a country where justice is what is showing up. And so as I'm looking at this and as I'm thinking through all of my feelings around this verdict and around the fact that the federal government is going to begin to look into this police department in which there have been multiple incidents of people of color and especially African Americans being brutalized by the police that um, we still have a lot of work to do and this is occurring collectively as a country and it also occurs individually with us and so um, as I think about our topic this week get up and get out I think about what is still what is mine to do in this situation where do I need to get up where do I need to get out where do I need to make my voice heard and especially where do I need to look within myself and see where my unconscious bias still lies and to see where I have bought into these systems that we have in place that are not built on love. Like our uh, beloved brother Lucian Baker told us back in January when he was here, all of those systems and foundations that are not built on love, they are crumbling away. And this holding this police officer accountable for his actions is the beginning of the crumbling away of these foundations and systems that no longer serve us and are not built on love. And instead, we are stepping in and we are replacing them with systems that are built on foundations of justice and equality, true justice, true equality true freedom, true love. That is what we are doing as a collective society. And that is what we get to do within ourselves. We get to look at the systems that we have in place that no longer serve us. And we get to do that within ourselves individually. We get to do it as an organization, as Centers for Spiritual Living. We get to do it as Celebration Center for Spiritual Living. And we get to do it as America and as a, as the entire planet. We get to look at what is, what is mine to do? Where do I need to get up and get out and make my voice heard and make sure that people around me know that I believe in the equality and justice and fairness for all people, all people, those that look like me, those that don't look like me, those that believe like me, those that don't believe like me, those that uh, think like me, those that don't think like me. Everybody deserves this and we are only as free as our least free people because we are just as oppressed as our most oppressed people. And this is what Ernest Holmes believed. This is what he taught. And um, we can see that in the way that he showed up for our uh, communities and congregations of color, even back in the 50s and 60s. And we continue to do that today as an organization. So please join me on Sunday to hear more about getting up and getting out and what it means to step into the unknown and to move outside of our comfort zones. And I love you all. And I am so grateful for Celebration Center, for this organization, and for each and every one of you.